Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Justin Johnson, Cortez, but Walker Independence on the CW. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. Mid-season finale. I mean, this is crazy, right? It's like, has it hit you that it's like the mid-season finale already? <laughs> no, it's it's honestly it's flying by, man. It's like uh, we're in it, you know. And right now we're shooting episode twelve or thirteen. We're just we're flying, and I can't believe we're almost there. You know, is the best thing about being a storyteller because Justin Johnson Cortez is a storyteller. That's what you do. Is the best thing about that kind of like transforming into all these different worlds and everything like walker independence that what you like the most about it yeah i actually just i was telling someone the other day it's one of my favorite things about being an actor is that you get to live all these different lives um growing up i i just wanted to try everything yep and somebody is like i'm not i'm not like that great at any one thing i'm Mm -hmm. really not like i'm a mediocre at a, a number of things because I just couldn't sit still as a kid because I was like, no, I got to do this. I want to do this. <laughs> this. So this is like a dream come true, man. I get to I get to play, you know, in the 1870s, and and I would never had that opportunity otherwise. One of the things that you know I'm noticing about this show, I actually talked to Catherine about this about the uh, about the premiere. Actually, every episode is so packed in terms of like characters arcs and growth changes within an episode. You know what I mean by that? Usually it's like you watch a show and it's like, you know, after like, you know, four or five episodes, you see the growth, but so many characters kind of grow and evolve after just like one episode. Do you notice that when you're reading the script at all? Cause I do find that very interesting with this show as well. You know, it, it's funny. I think, I feel like I, I know these characters so well because not only am I, we're so close as a cast, but, uh, you know, we talk about our characters and, and I, I've kind of seen them grow. So I think when I read a script, uh, I don't think I notice how much, you know, we may be changing over that one episode. Um, but because I think I kind of have their histories in my head already. Yeah, that makes sense. But I, I think that's exciting. You know, like like you said, some some series might be a really slow burn, um, you know, our, our our series is it's quick in a way, you know, it's yeah. kind of fast. Uh, a lot of action going on and and it's nice though that that the characters are developing and changing and, and that people are seeing them when you signed on to this project because i feel like it's an exciting kind of unique cool thing for anyone signing on for walker independence because i feel like there's familiar like familiar territory and unfamiliar territory at the same time they know walker they know like the name right like walker texas ranger and everything but but at the end of the day like they don't know walker independence right like this is a whole new thing whole new characters so it's like familiar and not familiar i'm curious like what you what your mindset was early on signing on to the project with that because i find that very interesting yeah you know uh signing on it's like we all kind of know Westerns. We grew yeah. up with Westerns in a way, or, you know, whether it was like a family member really loved them and they would always kind of be on the background or whatever it may be, yeah. or you loved them as a kid. Um, so there is like a familiar ground in that sense as well. Uh, but that was something that I kind of wanted to change coming in because, you know, playing a native character, uh, the way that happened in the past wasn't always the best, you know, they weren't always shown in a, in a dynamic way. Yes. Um, but so so I think that was the unfamiliar part of doing Walker Independence is, is that we're trying to we're trying to change that and trying to break those, you know. Um, but as, as far as being part of the Walker verse, um, we're still we're so different from from Walker. You know, we're yeah. connected. But the show is the, this show is just so so different. It's nice that it's a prequel because we kind of have like we have space to do do different things and kind of go where we want to go without having to tied to too much to what people have in mind when it comes to Walker or, or throwback to like, you know, Walker, Texas Ranger with Chuck Norris. So. I, I want to get into your character specifically because I'm loving the arc this season. But before that, you mentioned Westerns. They've always been around. You're right. However, I have noticed like a big boom in Westerns in the last five years. There's this like appetite for this content what's it like working in the genre knowing there's such a big appeal for it these days compared to like a couple years down the road because there is a big boom in westerns i find yeah i totally feel that as well um i I mean it it feels great because 
when you're making something, you know, people are interested in that, you know, it feels great to have your job kind of, uh, it's not that it's going to secure your work, but it's like, if you're going to put it out there, you're happy people might be looking for it, you know, yeah. and, and finding their way to it and watching it. We, we all want to work on something that, that, that people could relate to or that just people enjoy and find comfort in. So if that's kind of the trend right now, then it feels great to be part of it. You're still filming, like you said, episodes keep dropping every week. When do you start getting comfortable and familiar with this character? Because I feel that depending on the project, you know, you're going to maybe understand your character right away. Then there's kind of different complex characters that kind of have growth over a couple of episodes like we talked about or within one episode. And it's like, man, like I actually yeah. don't know this character. Are you starting to get comfortable with Callian specifically? You know, I, I felt very comfortable with him coming in, to be honest. Uh, there's, like you said, there's some characters that just really click for you. Yep. And and you're like, I understand this person. I understand where they're coming from. I understand the way they move in the world. And, and so I felt very confident about that coming in with Callie. And, and, and it's, it's nice, you know, I think it's fun to have a challenge as well, but it's also nice when you can kind of just sit in the skin. And um, also once you put the wardrobe on and when you're playing a period piece and all of that kind of comes together, um, you know, it's just, you kind of just feel right at home inside this. Person. I related to Kelly and quickly, he's kind of torn between worlds. And that's something I could kind of relate to in terms of uh, how I was raised, you know, uh, I'm a mixed race as well. And, and it's like, you never fully quite feel a hundred percent one thing or the other. You kind of sit in, sitting in the middle. And, and um, so that's something I appreciated about, about Kelly. And sometimes it's nice, especially with how quickly TV moves uh, yeah. to be able to feel comfortable in your character. Cause, cause you're going to be going, you're going to be going really quickly. Absolutely. You can answer this last question. What um, in regards to the mid season finale, Walker independence in general, when they get to watch it on the CW, Justin, what are you hoping they get out of it, takeaway wise, the audience with Walker Independence? Uh, as far as the mid season finale, it's it's a great episode. Uh, it actually will tell us a lot about why Kelly is the way he character. Um, and, um, I just hope people could could see his experience and and realize that it's not that different from from a lot of native experiences. Uh, at that time and, and as the West was changing. So I hope they could just relate in a way or have some compassion and, and, and see the humanity in this character because at the end of the day, that's what it's about, just showing the humanity of, of these characters. These characters. Mid-season finale coming to the CW very soon at Walker Independence. Justin, thank you for coming on Pop Turner. It was so great chatting with you, man. Th thanks, TD. Appreciate it, man. Well, it's been Pop Turner, youtube.com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. Till next time, I said Justin Johnson Cortez was Callian and Walker Independence on the CW. And PD Beats, signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.